Darwin and subsequent scientists, however, are very interested also in the finches of the Galapagos Islands. There are 13 species on the islands and another one on the Cocos Islands to the north. Their bills were interest to Darwin, a big bill for cracking big nuts, a medium one for medium seeds and nuts, and this one not very good for nuts or seeds at all, but very good for poking into cactus flowers. The different kinds of finches have different ways of life adjusted to the conditions on the different islands. Darwin surmised that the reptiles, the tortoises and the lizards, must have arrived on the islands on natural rafts, on logs or trees, which had floated out from the South American coast brought by ocean currents. He surmised that the finches must have flown there, obviously, although they're very poor flyers, and probably not very many of them arrived on the, the islands. And this all happened at least a million years ago, when the islands first appeared above the surface as volcanoes, or volcanic uh, vents. Now, it was what happened after the lizards and the finches had arrived, which was the key to Darwin's subsequent understanding of natural selection and evolution. The finches and the reptiles spread pretty quickly to the other islands. And on each of the islands, the conditions were different. In particular, for the finches, the food was different. On some of the islands, the main food was large seeds. On other of the islands, the main food was small seeds. On other islands, the main food was insects, which were lodged in the crevices of cactus plants, and so on. Now, in order to survive, the finches which lived on an island with a particular kind of food supply had to be able to get at that food supply. And if you're a finch with a big, thick bill, then it's not much good for getting at insects that are in the crevices of cactuses. And therefore, the offspring, which, remember, are all a little bit different from their, their parents, which were best able to deal with the gaining of the food supply, in other words, the offspring with the slightly less thick bill, would be the ones that would survive and go on to breed and be the progenitors of future generations. Now, we can see the result of that diagrammatically with just a few of the finches, just five instead of the 13 that are present on the islands. This finch has presumably become adapted to eating insects or perhaps at poking into crevices in cactuses. Whereas these are very evidently finches which have become adapted to cracking seeds or perhaps nuts. And Darwin surmised that that must have taken place very gradually as each succeeding generation was better able to do the job. And of course, the same applied to the tortoises. The tortoises which survived on the island with the large blocks of lava as the surface would be those that were best able to move across the surface. And that would be the ones with the slightly longer legs. And gradually, then, different kinds of tortoises and different kinds of finches and different kinds